Welcome everybody. Glad to see you all this evening. Welcome to the third stop on the First Friday Art Walk at the Karen Clark Gallery. Please give Karen a hand. She's right over here. I just want to say as a sidebar note, not in my notes, that I really appreciate this gallery. And I really, really appreciate the investment she keeps making in the arts in our city. It makes a big difference. So. Tonight's Art Walk is sponsored by Shelter Care. Give them a hand. They are a local nonprofit hosting the sixth annual fundraiser and art auction on May 19. Proceeds will help homeless families regain their independence. You can visit the barn light between 5 and 8 tonight for details and a chance to win some tickets. And now I get to introduce Carol Marine. And she's going to tell you about her work and tell you where in this room her work is, right? What motivates her, hopefully, what, what she likes to, to paint and want. Anything else you want to say about yourself? And I believe she has even a book over here, right, Carol? Several. Several. There you go. Vanna is showing those to you right now. <laughs> All right. Great. I'm going to hand this over to Carol. Give her a big hand. Uh, my name is Carol Marine. Um, I've been an artist for a long time. I can't remember the questions that you asked me. My paintings are on this wall and this wall and a little bit right on either side of the door that you came in. And I like to paint lots of different things. Um, I think primarily I'm known for my still lifes, but I am really enjoying painting people lately and cityscapes uh, and, and flowers and all sorts of things. Um, I what used to be in a lot of galleries about uh, 10 years ago. And then um, we, my, my husband and I, who's right here, David, uh, we adopted our son and I kind of stopped painting. And um, about a year and a half into having a baby, uh, a friend of mine came over with an article from USA Today about this daily painting movement. And it's all about painting small and often. And these guys who were doing it were putting them online uh, selling each little painting, maybe six by six inches, uh, in auction online, starting at about $100, and they were making a living. And since I wasn't making a living at that point, selling large paintings in galleries, I decided to try it. So for the last 10 years, I have been selling just about every day on, uh, online, uh, one small painting, and making my living that way. It's been really fantastic. Um, a few years ago, I got asked by Random House to write a book about it, so that's the book that's over there. Um, and then we were living in Texas, and then our house burned down in a forest fire four years ago, and so we moved to Eugene. We're glad you're here. Thank you. <laughs> we love Eugene. And, uh, and so about, uh, I don't know how many months ago, Karen Clark asked me to do some, some paintings for a, a little show, and I thought that it would encourage me to do some different stuff. So that's what I did, and that's the work that's here. It's bigger than my normal six by sixes, um, and a little bit more varied material. And I had a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoy looking at it. So, now you are here. I don't know how many of you had a chance to really look at her work, but if you have any questions for her, please uh, hold up your hand, and we'll try to She'll try to answer you right over here. There's a painting there of a street scene, and the light is in the background. I was wondering what city is it, and what time of day is that light? Uh, it was Let's repeat the question the first. Light. There's a scene with trees and light. No, not trees. It's a street. City. Street. Street. Was, oh, that one with yeah. beautiful street. light behind it. And she wants to know where it is. And what time of day is that light? And what time of day got that light? Um, that was San Francisco. I was in the Mission District walking to my Airbnb apartment and uh, I looked down the street and the sun was setting and it was just really beautiful and I will say as a, as a side note that I had to take about five pictures to get the light right because you know a camera doesn't really capture all that light and so I had to take pictures of the cityscape and then pictures of just the sky and then sort of combine them in the painting. Yeah, the light's beautiful. Thank you. Other questions? Yes. Which of your what? Oh, I'm sorry. What type of painting sell best online? 
That's a really good question. <laughs> Um, I, I will tell you that according to most people, landscapes sell the best. My landscapes don't sell the best because I don't do them very well. Um, so for me, still life sells the best. Still life sells the best. Yes. yes. Okay. Other questions? Anyone? Yes. I'm going to let you speak loudly into that. How, let's say you're sitting there and you feel an urge to paint. How do you decide what to paint? How do I decide what not to paint? <laughs> there are so many things to paint. I, I just, I get up in the morning and I just go for the first thing that makes me excited. I have, I take trips all the time and I take a bunch of pictures and I just, I'll flip through, you know, some trips pictures and go, oh, this one, I have to paint this right now. And that's kind of how it happens. Others, anyone, anyone? I don't see any others. You have any questions you think I should ask her? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, and then I want everybody to have a chance to really see your work and appreciate it. And thank you so much for being here. Give her a hand.